all these tiny slimes is making me really thirsty. I need a water break. my hands later, but we still have to make five more tiny slimes. You guys know the drill. Let's get into it. So we have two wheels here. This one will tell me which slime I have to make, and this one will tell me which tiny hands I have to use. We got corgi paws, horse hooves, T-Rex arms, shark heads, tiny shoes, and many more. Let's get into it. Let's see which slime we have to make first. That's my favorite slime right now. Okay, let's see what tiny hands I have to use. I hope it's not shark heads. Lobster claws. Oh, that's gonna be super hard. Oh, these lobster claws are so weird. Okay, but we gotta pack our slime, so let's go get our ingredients. It is Halloween already, which means pumpkin cow is the perfect first slime to make. This is a mix between butter and icy, so let's start packing it into our little containers. So far, so good. Ah, Ugh. Okay, we got it. This is our icy slime. I'm gonna set it aside. And now let's pack our butter. All right. Ooh, yes. Ah, okay. We just gotta stick it in our thumbs. I think that's good. Let's get our dye and start dyeing our slime. I'm thinking we're gonna get sunset orange. <laughs> I'll come back and get the super red. Ah, no! Got it. <laughs> Luckily, we don't need to dye our butter base, just the icy, and we gotta get the perfect pumpkin shade. So let's get it out of our little container. It's gonna be really hard to get it out. <laughs> my claws don't fit in the container. What if I stretch my claw? There we go. That was a struggle. We got all of the slimes out of the containers, so now it's time to dye them. We're gonna start off with a little bit of sunset orange to get that pumpkin color going. Ooh, okay. Okay, that works. Just gotta pinch it a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's just get a good amount of dye in there. Yeah, that's good enough with the orange. Let's put a little bit of red. Guys, I'm, I'm gonna admit, these claws are so hard to work with. Uh, <laughs> okay, I got the dye on the table. That's great, because we could just smush the slime onto it. There we go. Definitely added too much red, but that's okay. Let's just mix and see if we can get that perfect color. All right, guys, I think we have a nice shade of pumpkin cow. Now, we gotta drizzle some of this butter slime onto it because it has some kind of like nice drizzle marble effect. So I'm just gonna slice it just like that and then put it on our icy slime and give it a good little stretch. Gotta stretch it out. Give it a good fold. That looks pretty good to me. Now, let's put it in our container. Let's move on to the charms and sprinkles. All right, here I have my little sprinkle mix. All right, let's tap them on there. <laughs> it's so hard to grab because I have like a hole in the middle of my hands. <laughs> I'm not grabbing anything. All right, we just gotta grab a ton. And ready, we're gonna give it a good little splat. <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> we're getting smart with it, guys. So what we're gonna do is claw this whoop, and dab it in our container. <laughs> there we go. That's perfect. That is a stellar pumpkin slime, if I do say so myself. Let's add the pumpkin. Bloop. Sometimes you gotta work smarter, not harder. Especially when you have claws. Now we need our little cow. His name is Johnson. Okay, Johnson is clawed up and ready to go. Come on, tap, tap. There we go, guys. We got ourselves pumpkin cow slime. So here is the actual slime. And if we compare it, honestly, the color is a little different, but I think it's close enough, especially because I'm wearing these claws. I think it turned out pretty good. So let's move on to the next one. Let's see what we have for our next slime. Ooh. Campfire s'mores. Let's see what tiny hands I get. I hope I get horse hoops. arms. Oh my gosh. 
So campfire s'mores is a mix of butter and snow fizz with a little syrup on top. Here I have my bases and let's try to scoop them in to our little container. I actually love dinosaurs, so I'm really excited about this one. I just gotta scoop it, swirl it around my arms, and that's a great technique. Butter is so easy to work with. Let's move on to the snow fizz. This one is a bit more dense, so it's a little more complicated, but I trust in these T-Rex arms, come on. So far, so good. I like that they have two little fingers. It's good for grip. All right, we got our bases. Let's start dyeing them. Just like the last one, I'm not gonna have to dye my butter slime, so we're just gonna be working with the snow fizz. These T-Rex arms are so much easier than the lobster claws. All right, that's a good base. For the color, I think the tiniest bit of brown will go a long way. This will be easy. Just gotta give it a little dot. Oh, that's a good dot. Time to mix. All right, we got it dyed the perfect color. So now let's put it in our container and top it off with the butter. These T-Rex arms are pretty easy to work with, but I will say maybe if they had longer arms, they would have survived. Poor T-Rexes. All right, that looks good to me. Let's add the butter. La mantequilla. Here's our little butter. Let's put it on top of our s'mores. I'm gonna hold it <laughs> with my fingers, just like that. And then with my other T-Rex arm, I'm gonna give it a swirl. That looks cute. And now this isn't a campfire s'more slime without, thank you, without its little syrup. There we go. Guys, this looks so cute, but it needs some cute charms. The campfire s'mores slime has the cutest charms. Look at this. It's a little chocolate. Oh, I can't pick up my chocolate. Come on, T-Rex arms. I learned my lesson last time. There's a technique. There we go. Look at that, what a good little chocolate. We're gonna put this right in the center. And it also comes with a really cute graham cracker heart. Nice! All right guys, we finished. T-Rex arms are not too bad. This comparison is freaking good. Look at the colors, they're the same. I'm really happy with the slime, so let's move on to the next one. All right, Michael, let's give it a good spin. Woo! Oh, Michael, no! Michael. Oh, fairy water! Woo! That's such a pretty slime. Let's choose our tiny hands. All right, Michael, you ready? Shark heads! These are such weird hands. They're more like heads. Fairy water is a clear slime. We're gonna use the grip of our sharp teeth to scoop that into the container. This is kind of cool, because I can like stuff the slime in the mouths of the sharks. <laughs> All right, now we need to get our dyes. I'm thinking that fairy water has a bit of lime and a bit of green. These mouths are great for chomping. Let's scoop out our slime. Come on. All right, we got it. This is where it gets a little tricky. I can't go too hard with the dyes or else we're not gonna get the right color. Fairy water is a very light looking slime. I'm just hoping that very little comes out. There. That's too much. It's okay, guys. We have to keep going. Now let's do the lime. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, that's good. Ah, no! <laughs> oh my God, it's everywhere. All right, let's mix. You know just how sharks are vicious? I feel like these hands are vicious too. They're making things very messy for me. That's looking pretty good. All right, the dye's all mixed in. To be honest, this looks more like a witch swamp than a fairy pond, but that's okay. I think the glitter will save it, so let's add some glitter. Fairy water has some beautiful blue shift glitter. Let's just dip our swampy slime in there. I'm gonna use one of my shark head mouths. There we go. Nice, that already looks so pretty. I swear, that's gonna save our slime. Let's mix it in. All right, we got it. Let's put it in our container. All right, guys, be gentle, crazies. All right, now let's add our charms. I love that fairy water has the cutest little butterfly sprinkles, and then it has a really nice leaf. So let's start getting our leaf. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Just gonna put that on my slime. And now I'm gonna scoop some of the sprinkle mix. It's honestly super convenient that they have mouths. There we go. Guys, this is beautiful. I'd say we didn't do that well of a job with the color, but everything else looks really nice. Okay, let's move on to the next slime. See you later, shark heads. What's it gonna be? Oh, anime force fizz. That's such a good slime. All right, let's see what tiny hands I get. I hope I get corgi paws. <gasps> Boxing gloves. Okay, that fits the anime vibe. <laughs> 
Anime Forest Fizz requires a snow fizz based with a twist. I don't have fingers, so we're just gonna use the edge of my little glove and just try to like scoop it. All right, that's pretty good. Let's punch it in there. <laughs> nice. Now let's get our two dies. Let's box it out of the container. This slime has kind of like pastel colors, so we don't want to get too crazy with the dyes, guys. It's so hard to scoop it out. These are great for pushing, but not great at pulling stuff. <laughs> no, I like literally can't get it out of the container. No, what are we gonna do? All right, guys, I totally got that all out on my own, so let's move on to the dyes. We just gotta open up the bottles. <laughs> Come on, boxing gloves, I believe in you. I believe in your powers. Yeah. There we go. It is a twist, so we have to split it in two parts. For one side, we're just gonna do a little, little dot, then a little bit of green. That should be good. The best technique with these hands is to just punch everything. Not to mention, we also got a tough slime. Snow fizz is hard to work with. It's very like compact and it's hard to stretch sometimes. But let's just keep mixing it and get our colors. I think we did a great job with the colors. It looks exactly like the original slime. So now we're gonna place these next to each other and start doing a little twist. First, I gotta like squish it. And then I'm gonna hold this side and kind of twist it. That looks good. Now, let's put it in our container. This is the easy part, because now we just gotta punch it in. Ugh. Yay, we did it! Now, let's add the super cute anime charms. Guys, I love the sprinkle mix for anime forest fizz. All right, let's place it on our slime. Punch it in. There we go, that's cute. And now, let's add our little cloud. Nice. I'm gonna punch it in to secure it. All right, let's add the little sprinkles. This part will be easy, because I can just like, Scoop them like that. There we have it, guys. I think we nailed it with the color. Look how good this looks compared to the regular size Anime Forest Fizz. And if you want an Anime Forest Fizz, just go to peachybabies.com. We restock every Friday at 7 p.m. and there's a variety of slimes that you can choose from, so don't miss it. All right, it's time to spin the wheel and get rid of these boxing gloves and choose our last slime. I love that one. Okay, let's see what tiny hands I get. Horse hooves. Hmm. <laughs> I'm living my horse girl dreams. All right, let's start off with our clear slime. I'm just gonna gallop this day away. Good gallop. All right, let's do some icy. These are a breeze. Look at that. I love hooves. I wouldn't mind having them in real life. All right, let's move on to the dyes. Honey Crisp Apple Cubes is a jelly cube slime with icy. So I have these really cute tiny jelly cubes. We got both of the bases out. Let's add our little squishy jelly cubes. I think I'm gonna be a horse for Halloween. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you're gonna be for Halloween. We got the jelly cubes. Now let's add our dyes. For the jelly cube portion of it, it's just red clear slime and it's already open, so that's perfect. That's perfect. And now for this side, we're gonna add very little brown because it's a very light shade, almost like a pastry. Now let's mix. There we go. We're getting that brown shade we need. It's not the right shade, but I'm happy with it. It's hard to add the right amount of dyes to these slimes with these crazy hands. So I'm honestly really proud of myself. Ooh, we got our red. Look at that. Let's add it to our container. First, it's gonna be half jelly cube. All right, and then we're gonna add this icy on top. And there we have it, guys. And now we just need our charms. Guys, this sprinkle mix reminds me of like Winnie the Pooh a little bit. Nice. Now let's add our little apple. I trust in the hooves. All right, we got our nice little apple. And now I'm just gonna scoop it like this. And I feel like this edge will pick it up nicely. There we go. That is so cute. This is a beautiful slime. Good job, hooves. Well, these slimes look pretty good. I'd say we did a really good job. So there you have it, five tiny slimes with five tiny hands. Make sure to like this video and comment which tiny slime was your favorite. Now I gotta figure out where to find an antidote for this tiny hands potion, but I'll figure that out. Bye guys.